coach puts me in. I think if you rebound the ball at a high level, then you're going to get easier shots like putbacks and stuff and just staying aggressive the whole game. I think defensively is how I'm getting my points. I'm getting stops on defense, giving me more confidence on offense. Is it any adjustment, you know, thinking, okay, I'm playing the, the two here, I'm playing the three, I'm playing the four? No, I think I move around all practice and coach makes sure to keep me in. Usually on defense, he'll make me play different positions just so that I know what's going on and I know what I'm doing. So, again, it's just staying aggressive at whatever position coach puts me. Jermaine, what was the difference after they come back and tie it up to, to go on the big run there to end the game? Uh, we just took our foot off the gas, which has been kind of the story of our team except for last game. I think we did a lot better job of finishing our opponent, but uh, we just got to play physical and aggressive the full 40 minutes and not play lackadaisical when we get up. How much easier is it to do that when Derek's on the floor and playing like you did tonight? I think having Oscar and Derek, both of them, on the floor takes a lot of steam off of a lot of us, and especially with DC because he can really pass out of the post. So I make sure that I cut one or two times when he gets it on the block because I know they're going to double team him and get an easy layup. A matchup that you were thinking you could probably do some things with them, you know, playing a lot of four guards. Oh, for sure. I think we have so many guys that can do different things that we can throw different lineups that teams won't know what to do with. So it's definitely an advantage towards us. Has it helped you some playing in the post when you, you know, are posting guys up to learn where other guys like the ball or like it to be passed to them? You have a favorite spot, you know, where you like to get it, kind of a go-to move? Yeah. Either side, I know that we play inside out, so first look is to score inside. If not, when guys collapse, we'll find shooters, and we got plenty of shooters to fill it up, so it makes our job a lot easier. Jermaine, so starting out with four guards, what's the difference kind of, at least in the flow of the game, starting off and then as opposed to three yards? Uh, just more spacing. When we got two guys on there, teams usually play too big, so kind of crowds the floor, but we have plays that are specifically for when we have two bigs in. But when we have guards, we can get out in transition, and it's a lot easier to penetrate the basket and stuff like that. But. In the second half, they went on that big run, and then, you know, obviously you guys snatched momentum right back. What was the difference there for you guys? Uh, we just came into the timeout and realized that it was a four-point game. and <clears throat> shouldn't have been a four-point game, but... Like I said before, we got to keep our foot on the gas the whole game. And teams like that, we should put out coming out of the second half. But we didn't execute down the stretch. So. What was said in that time? Uh, coach was pretty mad because it's, like, it's been the story of our team. Is we'll get up on teams big and we'll just start playing lazy and get comfortable with things that can't happen. Like We got to have a killer mentality, whether we're up 10, 15, or 20. Do you like the way you guys responded down the stretch? I mean, you got tied up, and then you guys kind of hit them right back in the mouth, both yeah. into the floor. I think we need games like that so it could test our adversity. But I think we responded well once once they cut the lead down to four.